what's up guys welcome back to half men half tech so i gotta say ios 14 is actually a big thing right now as we speak in september it's actually trending as we speak and the reason for this is that you know ios 14 allows you to customize your iphone device or your ios device unlike any other previous versions of ios if you have a pet or if you have a baby or an icon someone you look up to you can actually have the face of that person be an application or a shortcut and imagine your baby taking you to google isn't that something cool so anyways in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can sort of customize your home screen to make it something that looks like what i have here so let me just share my home screen as you can see here so my screen should be popping up right here so this is how my home screen looks like and as you can see i have like customized widgets as you can see and they are actually stacked as you can see so it's not just a single widget they are stacked so i'm going to be showing you how you can do that and also i have my calendar widget here as an icon that depicts naruto so you can sort of customize your phone to depict a theme that you like depending on your wallpaper so my wallpaper is sort of red and blue so the icons that i'm going to select here are going to be around that color so that you know they match what the wallpaper depicts right so first things that we want to know when we want to customize our iphone device is jiggle mode and how to edit your home screen so basically if you want to edit your iphone device home screen on ios 14 you just need to tap and hold on any blank section of your screen so for me i did that by just tapping and holding under the safari one that you see there which is the batman that i customized there so if i tap and hold there again you can see that my icons or my home screen goes into jiggle mode you know jiggle mode is the applications just shaking around like that that's jiggle mode so what this means is that you can sort of move your applications around you can move them to where you want and also you can delete applications right so that is jiggle mode and you can see the different pages that i have here this is my how my second page looks like you can see that you know it looks it looks old you know it it's it doesn't look like it's ios 14 that many people are showing off with and this is my second screen this is my third screen and the last page if you are on ios 14 is all is always going to be the app library so you can hide all these other intermediate pages that are in between but you can't hide your app library all right so let's hide these ugly pages that are heavier so enter into jiggle mode tap and hold on any section and you see where we have those dots there on the bottom of the screen just tap there and your phone will basically go into edit page mode so you can now edit the pages and the ones that are checked means that they are showing right so if you want to hide ugly pages or applications that you have then that aren't organized basically just uncheck the page so let's uncheck the second page and the third page and just keep these two pages and if we click done we basically have two pages now so you can see there that we have two pages and if we click down here you see that you know we'll only remain with these two pages that we want to keep so that's how you edit your home page now with that in mind let's quickly look at the applications that you're going to need to edit your home screen you are going to need about three applications and the first one is called widget smith so if you go to your app store right and search for widget smith let's search for widget smith together so you can see that you know just by writing widget widget smith will pop up and this is how it looks that is the application that you want to download that's the first application and you know if you haven't downloaded just download it and then the second application is called color widgets and that's how it looks you can always download it from the app store by the way this is something that is safe and you know don't worry when it comes to privacy or information this is safe and it's not jailbreaking your device so that's the second application called color widgets and the third application well you don't really have to download it because you already have it in your device and it's called shortcuts so if you search you know on your device just search for shortcuts and you know you'll see that application and that is the shortcuts app that you want to be using and now let's start to create our own custom home pages so the first thing that we want to do here is to basically go into the color widgets app so 
open the color widgets app and you can see you know all the different types of widgets that you have so you can see that you have power puff girls you ha you have different ones we have ones that depict cars and if you want that widget basically just click on it if it's free it will basically allow you to add it and if it's not free like this one that you see here then you basically need to have premium membership to be able to add that one but as you can see here we have ones that are free and you know easy to use so let's for example go to this one that says monday here and if we go to the edit widget section there you can see that we can sort of customize the widget right so you can see that we can choose between small medium or large widget so we want to add you know to edit the medium one we can always do this if you want to just change the color you can see that you know you can just change the color by going there if you want a dark themed one this is where you go just go to the dark section if you want a light one go to the light one but we don't want any of this we want to customize our own widget right we want our widget to have the face that we choose or the picture that we choose right in this case i have a wallpaper that is blue and red so let's go a little bit there to where it says background photo so if you click there where it says add photo you see it will open my camera raw if you're opening this for the first time it will ask you you know do you want to allow permission just say allow and as you can see i have different photos that i downloaded and if i want to select them i just have to you know select the photo so if i click this photo here and then as you can see this is how my widget looks like it's depicting the day and the battery percentage and the date right so that's that's how you customize your widget and then if we say set widget we can see that our widget has been added now if we want to add our widget to a new page now just enter into jiggle mode like that and then you see the plus icon that you see in the top left hand corner there just go to a new page and you see the little plus icon that's there in the top left hand corner there just click that and since we basically edited our previous widget using color widget you see the way there is the color widget where it says time and battery widget just click that one and you have now an option to select whether you want a small widget a large a medium widget or a large widget so we want to add a medium widget i like medium because it covers you know the top portion of the screen or the lower portion of the screen depending on where you want to put it you can even put it in the middle of the screen if you have apps on top or on the bottom so let's add this one and now let's say add so boom as you can see there our widget has been added to this new page so you can see how it looks it sort of looks cool and now let's say for example we want to add a custom application with a custom face now the way you do this basically is by going to your shortcuts app which you have already so just search for shortcuts open that application and then you see the little plus icon in the top uh, right hand corner there just click the plus icon and then click add action and then go to apps since we want to customize our apps individually and then look for the app that you want to change or customize so in this case let's just say for example we want to customize um, safari so i would have to click on safari here and then i have to click or select a specific function that i want safari to perform whenever i click on it so basically when you open safari it either opens google or it takes you to the apple page so i want to open url so i want to select that option where it says open url then if i click there then i if i click where it says open url if i click the url section i can sort of edit which website this safari will take me to so let's say for example google.com i think it's the most popular one and if we click on the three dots there and click on the shortcut name you can see that you know we can select a name for our shortcut so in this case let's say safari uh one just for the purposes of this video and then say add to home screen so click where it says add to home screen uh, you can see that we now have an option to um change the icon of this application so if we click there where it says new shortcut one just 
click on the icon you can see that you know just by tapping the options will pop up and if you want to take a photo you can basically select that and take a photo but we want to choose a specific photo so if we select choose photo and if you're doing this for the first time you need to you know allow for permission let's say for example in this case we want to choose the superman photo you can see that boom there it is and you can sort of zoom in or zoom out depending on your photo that you have the resolution of it and once you're done select choose and once you're happy with the icon just click add and you know it's now been added to the home screen now if we click done there and click ok you can see that you know we now have safari one day and what we want to do we can sort of you know drag it to the section here which we have and boom there it is right so every time we want to open safari we can sort of click this superman logo and it fly us to google so if we click there you can see that it takes us to google now as you can see here there's sort of a lag because this shortcut that we've created has to go through the shortcuts app and then it has to launch safari right so let's click that again so that you see look it first of all opens like the shortcut app and then opens safari and takes us to the url that we've set now if you want to sort of reduce this time because you can see it go into your um, settings so if you go into settings and then go to accessibility and then say motion and you see that op option there that says reduce motion so click that and then go back to your home screen and go back to the page that you basically edited right and if you click now on the safari icon that you've customized which is safari one you can see that you know it's now faster compared to you know safari before so you can see that you know it, you still see the shortcuts app but you know it's now with reduced motion unlike before so that's how you do it by customizing different apps you can customize any app that you want but keep in mind that some apps like the phone call app sometimes works or sometimes doesn't work i know that's one of the apps that's having issues but the majority of the apps that are there you can sort of edit them now let's go on to our second app that we have which is widget smith so if we click on our widget smith app there you can see that we have you know small widgets we have medium widgets or and we have large widgets so we want to like add a small widget so that it takes up a small portion of the screen so if we click on that small two widget click on it and then click on it again where it says monday 21st click on that again and you can see that now you have the option to sort of customize your widget you can you know if you want it to display the date like that you can select that if you want it to display the date like this or the week that you are in you can you know select that but we don't want it to look like this just black and white doesn't look so good with our background wallpaper that we have so we want to you know look for at least some sort of color you can see that some options are locked but you know we want to set our own custom image so look for the part that says custom and as you can see you can choose a photo or you can choose photos in album so if you select the photo portion there and then on the bottom of the screen select where it says select photo if you click that you can see that you now have a valid or link to basically open or choose a photo so click that and now we can choose a photo so for the purposes of this video let's just click naruto there and as you can see this is how our widget calendar widget using the widget smith will look like so we've added that and basically we are done if we go back and save there on the top right and now that is our widget smith now if we want to add this widget to our home screen which we are editing right here we want to go into jiggle mode and then click the plus icon on the top left hand corner there and you know just look for widget smith so there's widget smith and if you want to add a small widget then you can go ahead and add the small one if you want to add the medium one then you can go ahead and add that also the large one is right there but we edited the small one and we want to add the small one so we click add widget right there you can see that our widget has been added now we can move this around here and you see that we now have widget smith that is our you know calendar app that depicts you know naruto's face or something like that so this is how you sort of edit it you can basically edit almost anything with widget smith you can you know sort of select it 
to be a widget that depicts your calendar. You can select it to show your ward time, your reminders, your health, or anything like that. So basically, that is how you edit your home page. And then also, I want to show you something because, you know, you can see that these widgets are just single, right? Sometimes widget smith might not work. It might um, not display the picture that you choose. So when that happens, just delete widget smith and add it back. And that will basically fix your issue. And as you can see, our Safari is working with reduced motion. And that's how you do it. Now, let me show show you how you can stack the widgets together for example you see this stacked widget that I have here you know this is the usual widget that we have from Apple if I want to add it to our widget smith that you know depicts the calendar for example let's uh, say you know a widget smith will show the calendar uh, all I have to do is to go back here and select this widget and drag it to the page that has you know that I've edited and it has to be the same size as the widget that you want to drop it in so I cannot drop it or stack it on top of this one that has Goku because it's different size but I can drop it in this widget smith by just dragging it on top and once they've aligned I just have to and once they've aligned I just have to let it go like like that and basically they've been stacked so you can stack as many as 10 widgets in one stack so basically that's how you do it as you can see it's very easy i would say the most time consuming part of this is editing the applications like safari if you have a lot of applications and you want to edit them individually then you know that means that you take more time to edit these applications through the shortcuts app but as you can see it's very easy very simple and if i want to just you know show this page that i've edited all i have to do is go into jiggle mode and then tap on the bottom of the screen that you see there and then uncheck you know the pages that i want to hide so let me hide this and i'll be left with this page and click done and as you can see we only have two pages right so this is how you do it it's very easy very simple and if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the other ios 14 tips and tricks that i'm planning on doing and that's about it for me stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon Peace.